Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a video about my new flash suppressor that I have on my AK-47 here. This is the Razor from Tapco. It is a four-pronged flash suppressor that comes in right, right around 2.8 inches long. Its weight is usually listed right around 3 ounces and is made for four, 14 by 1 left-handed threads. So in other words, it's going to fit on most of your AK-47s. I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about uh, its pros and cons, what it's good at, what it's not so good at, and just kind of my overall impressions of it. Now I picked this up about a month ago after I shot off the regular slant brake that came with the RS-47. I bought it for a couple different reasons. One, uh, I really like the idea of having a flash suppressor on a defensive rifle, especially one in an intermediate cartridge like 7.62x39 or 5.56. Honestly, the recoil on these rifles isn't that bad, at least for me. Now, as you'll hopefully see from the videos of me shooting this, uh, it also works fairly effectively at combating muzzle rise. Now I know most of that comes from you know having proper stance and grip and all that, but uh, you'll notice that under sustained fire, uh, it really didn't jump around a whole lot, at least to the point where it was not manageable anymore. So as far as an overall muzzle device goes, I'm, I'm really liking this thing. Now one of the main reasons I bought this was after I shot off my muzzle brake, I was looking for something to replace it. And I'd been kind of planning on having a couple things to uh, try out on it. But my local area isn't super big on AKs, so there's really not a whole lot of accessories out there. At least as far as things you can go out and pick up same day. This was one of the few muzzle devices that one of my local shops had. So I figured, you know what, I don't really have much of a choice. But that said, I've actually been really satisfied with it. Now while I plan on doing more muzzle device reviews in the future, uh, I really feel like I'm in no, no hurry to replace this thing. It's been working very effectively and does everything that I need it to. Now we'll go ahead and take it off so I can kind of show you a little bit more about it. But obviously, you know, it's, again it's left-handed threads, which I'll be honest, trips me up a lot of the time. But the threads are very clean. Uh, I haven't had any issues with, you know, binding up as I'm trying to thread it on. Now part of that is also the uh, threads on the rifle are in good shape. But as you can see, um, it's very symmetrical, so it doesn't really matter uh, how it locks into your rifle because it does have four different locations where it can lock in, which means you're going to get a really nice tight fit, which was a problem with the one that came with the rifle. It was really, really loose, so that's probably how it came unspun on me. But one of the other nice features about this is, as you can see here, it is made in the USA. So this does count towards a US part on your 922R compliance. Now being that this is an American made AK from Century, specifically the RAS-47, uh, that's not really a huge concern for me, but you know, it is nice to support things made in the United States. Now another thing you're going to notice, um, kind of in line with these prongs, there are these little holes uh, which are going to allow gas to escape. But the thing with that is when you have one facing up, you also have one facing down. So let me make sure, okay. Lefty tighty is not something that I'm used to. So as I mentioned, as I tighten this on, um, you know, it, it fits on relatively tight. It does have a little bit of play. Uh, which, you know, there's a bunch of different ways you can fix that, but honestly for me it's not a huge deal. Now as far as how effective it is as a flash suppressor, I was only able to shoot this thing during the day, which isn't going to be the best depiction of its effectiveness, at least as far as a flash suppressor goes, but when you consider how much of a fireball some AKs put out even during daylight, you'll notice that uh, there's really no flash signature from this at all. One common complaint though when it comes to these prong style flash suppressors is a ringing that goes on because it's basically like a tuning fork being at the end of your barrel. And that does take place uh, with this muzzle device as you will probably hear uh, during some of the videos that I'm going to roll in. Now it, it wasn't too bad but granted I was wearing hearing protection so I probably didn't hear it as well as the microphone on my camera did. But just so you are aware that that does take place on this flash suppressor as well. Now Tapco makes a couple different muzzle devices, uh, all of which are extremely affordable. This one usually comes around $20 to $25, but they also have, you know, just a regular slant brake. They have more of like an A2 style bird cage. Uh, they have a couple other muzzle brakes, which I've heard are actually fairly effective. And then they have the Razor, like the one on here. Overall, I'm really liking it. It does, like I said, everything that I need it to, and I'm really not itching to replace it anytime soon. However, if you have any suggestions as far as what I should look at when I do decide to uh, upgrade from this, uh, you know, feel free to let me know. I'm always anxious to hear what you guys have to say as far as your input on this stuff goes, because like many of you out there, I'm still learning myself. 
Now, as far as an update goes on this uh, rifle itself, again, you know, this is the RES-47 from Century. Uh, I do have a review out on this rifle, um, and really the only things that I've changed since then are the uh, muzzle device up here, and I do have a uh, two-point to single-point uh, bungee sling from original SOE gear. I really like their slings and really all of their stuff. I have quite a bit of their stuff, and as long as you don't mind uh, John Willis keeping it real from time to time, I don't think you'll have any complaints with the uh, quality of their products. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and feel free to put those in the comments below. I try to do my best to keep up on those. And again, if you have any suggestions as far as, you know, what your favorite mu muzzle devices are out there for AKs, you know, feel free to put those down below. I know there's a lot of stuff on the market, so, you know, if people can help make the process a little bit easier by saying what they like, I know it'll probably help out other people as well as myself. I appreciate you guys watching. I know there's really not a whole lot to say when it comes to muzzle devices. I mean, you know, does it work or doesn't it? You know, really the video is going to help demonstrate that to you probably better than I can describe myself. So thanks for watching and I hope you got something from this.